Good morning, it's Crazy Cheap Chick. I just got back from my grocery shopping and let me tell you, it's getting harder and harder to save a buck. Uh, I had to go to two different stores and I'll show you both trips. I ended up spending $99.66 between the two trips, but it took two trips in order to find enough bargains to keep that bill down. Um, some weeks being an adult just is no fun at all. It is not what we were led to believe as children. So this is what uh, gas costs in Kansas right now. I feel like I should never have to say this. Here is another coffee shop going in, and there are at least three coffee shops within a mile of here that I can think of. Who is buying all this expensive coffee? Not people who want to save money. I feel like it's one of the simplest, easiest things to do is to make your coffee at home. And so I feel like I never should have to, it, it's, it's a tip everyone says, right? So, that's why I've never mentioned it before. But yet, people must really be um, still getting their coffee out if they're building these many coffee shops, three coffee shops within a mile of each other. I'm probably going to be going by the store a little bit more than usual because I have to have some therapy. And so since I was in town, I did stop by Dylan's. Um, the one thing I needed was bread. And I spent $33.89 pre-tax. I went ahead and checked the clearance racks and uh, found a few things. Got a pizza for $2.80. And also I paid full price for this cheese. I think it was on sale for $2. And the reason I went ahead and got this cheese is because they had this buffalo-style chicken breast for $2.52. And I thought that would make some good sandwiches. I had some more yogurt for 43 cents. This stuff's pretty good. Probably high calorie. <laughs> probably got a lot of sugar in it. And they had this soup, which we're probably having for dinner tonight, for $3.90 with maybe a frozen burrito since we're leaving town. And I got a bunch of dollar net bags. So some green peppers, four for 99 cents, oranges for 99 cents, four apples for 99 cents two big bags of potatoes, 99 cents each, some tomatoes for 99 cents, four avocados for 99 cents, a little thing of fresh mozzarella for $1.35, some traditional refried beans for 72 cents, a big can of brown sugar hickory baked beans. I had a bunch of these, they were all dented. Um, I just bought one though. And then they had these um, cleaners. These were a dollar fifty bathroom cleaner. They were normally like five ninety nine. So I just got two of them. They had a bunch. And then this microban multi purpose cleaner was a dollar thirty seven. I think that stuff's really expensive. So we've got enough cleaner for a while. Anna kept track as she went through the store. And she thinks she's going to be at 83.18 before coupons. So let's go see how good she did, okay? Okay. I wanted to hit 75 because they had a deal today. Not only was it two-time fuel points, but if you spent at least $75, you got $10 off your um, order. And so my my receipt's kind of torn because it's it's pouring here right now. So I had to load everything in the rain. And I actually ended up spending $65.77 pre-tax. And all I really worry about is I just want to make sure this number is lower than this number because if this number is higher than this number, then I know something didn't come off or I made some mistake and I have to take the time and figure it out. But anyway, for my $65.77 pre-tax, um, this is what I got. Got corn, they had corn for 60 cents an ear. Actually, it was, I think it was five or three dollars, something like that. Um, I got a little bit of cauliflower, which was about $1.59. They had hamburger buns on sale for $1.79 and hot dog buns on sale for $1.79. Got 
got this asparagus for $1.84. Um, this melon was $1.99. And they had creamer on sale this week. You could buy up to five. And so I got four at $2.99. Because as you know, if you watch my videos, we live on coffee with a lot of creamer. And then I got this bottle of half and half, and I believe it was $2.99. And I try to buy that at Walmart or Aldi's whenever I'm close to one of those because it's cheaper there. But I don't, I don't want to have to run in 10 stores a week. As it is, I'm now having to go to Dillon's like twice a week just to find enough bargains to keep my uh, bill down a little bit. But since it's just my husband and I, I don't generally buy milk. So what I do is if I need milk, I just water down a little half and half because like this is good through, I don't know, sometime in June, I think. <laughs> so that's, it's easier for me to buy cream and water it down than to buy milk that's going to expire right away and we'll only use a third of it. Then they had these craft singles for $2.49 and you could buy up to five and they... <laughs> Of course, I'm not really a big believer in expiration dates. Um, the United States doesn't require expiration dates except on uh, food formula, and I think we throw away tons of good food. Um, but these don't, ex you know, their best buy date is not until sometime in October. So I went ahead and got four of these because you know this summer we're going to be eating a ton of hamburgers. They had these Franks on sale, ballpark Franks for $1.99. I know they're not very healthy, but I do enjoy an occasional uh, hot dog. And I got some baked beans off clearance a couple of weeks ago for a dollar in a can. These petite gold gourmet potatoes were $1.99. I have a dish I make out of these that I really like. I might make it tonight with a little leftover roast beef. And then this is me cheating. They had this ham and Swiss stuffed chicken breast for $7.92. It had been $12.19. Ridiculous. And these chicken grillers, barbecued seasoned. I think it's just chicken wrapped in bacon that you cook on the grill. It had been $9.09. Marked down to $5.91. Because I've hurt my foot. I'm having to go to therapy three times a week for my foot. And so these are easy meals. These were kind of like the equivalent of fast food meals for me. Then um, they had celery for 99 cents. And this celery will last forever. Celery, a really long shelf life. Then they had this dark chocolate hummus. Now I really like this, especially when you dip an apple in it. And it was $1.71 plus I had a coupon for buy one, get one free. So actually, even though I got two of them, they ended up being 85 cents each. That's pretty cheap because these normally sell for about $4.99. And I also went ahead and got this cheddar and poablano dip, which I thought might be really good in these, this celery, like a little side dish to either a hamburger or a hot dog. But I needed some bread too. And I went ahead and just got a discounted $1.58 sourdough bread. Anything in the red nut bags is 99 cents. So four tomatoes. These will ripen up by next week. And I already have um, some tomatoes I can use this week. They had this Zing Zang Bloody Mary mix for $2.80. And probably the best deal I got was all this peanut butter. It was marked down to 75 cents. And they had a lot of it, and I got six, because I always feel like you should leave some for others. Don't be greedy, though I kind of wish I bought it all, because I go through peanut butter really fast, seven grandkids. Um, I went ahead and got this shampoo for $3. It was normally $5.99. Went ahead and got this some more of this cleaner. And I got this because I, see, this is what's so weird. Sometimes coupons come off and sometimes they don't. I had a coupon for this, but the coupon didn't come off. But it did come off for that. <laughs> so no rhyme or reason. Uh, some 99 cent um, avocados. Three of them seem pretty good. One of them I think is probably bad. Uh, some cut green beans for 46 cents. And see, here's another thing. 
Um, I got these little, I don't know what you call them, baby cheeses. They're really good. And these sell for $5.99 at my store, so I never buy them. But they were marked down to $1.89, but it rang up for $0.89 because there was a dollar off coupon. If I'd known that, I would have bought more of them. And then I bought this Colgate toothpaste for $1.03, and I have plenty of toothpaste because I think they just had it on sale for $0.99, cents, and I bought like four. But I had a coupon <laughs> for a dollar off if you bought two of these, but the coupon didn't come off. So anyway, that's what I got. And in a minute, I'll tell you what I'm planning on eating this week. What are we going to eat this week? I still have a ton of Clarence hamburger I got. So we're having cheeseburgers with some corn. And I've also got a ton of t potatoes still from um, the sale potatoes. So we'll probably have some french fries with that. Tonight, I think we're going to have some leftover roast beef with this potato dish I make and a little broccoli. Uh, probably this weekend we may grill some hot dogs um and i'll probably have some french fries or diced potatoes or something like that to go with them we're gonna have this ham and swiss stuffed chicken breast with some asparagus and maybe some rice i've got plenty of rice and we're also going to have this chicken grillers um one night with some corn and maybe a baked potato something like that I have a lot of bacon, and I think we'll have some BLTs, and I've also got a ton of eggs, and so I may make some um, deviled eggs to go with some of these kind of picnic-y dishes, and I've got everything I need to make tacos, so I've got lettuce, tomato, hamburger, onion, and with these avocados, I could have tacos. And then also we'll probably have this celery with either that peanut butter or this um, cheese dip with some of my meals. Um, and then for fruit, we got this $1.99 melon. I still have a little bit of um, watermelon left and I've got a ton of apples and oranges. So I didn't feel like I'd have, I could afford my beloved raspberries, blackberries, or blueberries, but um, we're still going to eat okay. I don't consider this the healthiest of meals, but we are getting some vegetables in and some fruit in. Well, thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. If you got anything out of it, please give me a thumbs up, a like, a comment, a share, or please subscribe. Join our community. Um, give us your money saving tips. We're all in this together. It's getting harder and harder to make ends meet. So let's help each other out by sharing our secret tips. I hope you have a great evening.